like, have you, um, you want to call the case at least, or? Huh? Oh, you did, I missed it, sorry. Okay, I would first like to verify that the uh, technical equipment is operative. Can uh, everyone uh, who is using earphones in the courtroom hear me in the uh, language uh, that he understands? Mr. Lanzo, can you hear me in a language you understand? Very good, thank you. This is an initial appearance of the accused uh, pursuant to Rule 62 of the Tribunal's Rules of Procedure and Evidence. May I have the appearance, appearances for the prosecutor, please? Thank you, Anna. Uh, Eric Ostbey, I appear with my co-counsel, Mrs. Teresa McHenry, and uh, our legal assistant, Ms. Ellis van Dusforten. Very good. Thank you, uh, Mr. Osberg. May I have the appearances uh, on behalf of the accused, please? Uh, I'm Mustafa Bratkovic, lawyer, and I shall be uh, defending uh, the accused as a lunger. Very good. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bratkovic. Are there any? Are there additional appearances? This proceeding is being uh, recorded pursuant to uh, an order uh, of the tribunal. It's being recorded uh, uh, by the tribunal, and it is uh, released to the broadcast media. Does any party have an objection to this procedure, Mr. Osberg? No Mr. Bratskovic? Uh, name and prigovor. Oh, I have no objections. Thank you. You may be seated. Is the prosecutor ready to proceed, Mr. Osberg? Yes, I'm ready to proceed, Your Honor. Is the defense ready to proceed, Mr. Braskovic? Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Uh, Braskovic, has Mr. Izan Lanzo received a copy of the indictment? Uh, yes. Asad Lanjo received a copy of the indictment, read it, and understood it. And we discussed it several times here in The Hague. In your opinion, uh, does Mr. Lanzo understand the nature of the charges um, against him that are contained in the indictment? I'm done missing that. Yes, uh, I believe he understands uh, all the counts contained in the indictment, uh, and uh, you may also ask him directly. Fine, I, I will do that. Is Mr. Bras uh, Braskovic, uh, is Mr. Uh, Lanzo um, ready to proceed with the reading of the indictment subject uh, to my inquiry concerning his uh, understanding the nature of the charges for the purposes of the entry of a plea, or will he be willing to waive the reading of the indictment in the in its entirety and instead enter a plea with respect to those counts to which he is named in which he is named in the indictment uh, missing the name of I do not think uh, it is necessary to read the indictment because he has read it several times and discussed it uh, with me, and he will therefore waive the right to read the indictment in its entirety. We believe uh, it's not necessary. Uh, I will ask the prosecutor to identify the accounts in the indictment to which Mr. Lanzo is to uh, enter a plea. Yes, Your Honor. The counts in questions are the following. One and two, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, fifteen and seventeen, fifteen to seventeen. Twenty four to twenty six, twenty seven to twenty nine, thirty to thirty two, thirty six and thirty seven, and 
And finally, 46 and 47. Thank you, Ronald. Mr. Lanzo, will you please stand? You uh, have heard your attorney, Mr. Bratskovich, state that you have received a copy of the indictment, that he has discussed the indictment with you. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Do you um, understand uh, uh, the nature of the charges pending against you in the indictment? Yes. For the record, will you state your full name, please? Alanjo Esad. Esad Alanjo. And uh, for the record, uh, would you state your date of birth? Seven of March, nineteen seventy-three. Have you ever been known uh, by any nickname, uh, Mr. Lanza? Da. Yes. Zenga. Zenga. Are you ready to enter a plea to the indictment? The prosecutor has identified the counts in the indictment in which you are charged. Are you ready to enter a plea at this time? Da. Yes. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? N never. Not guilty. Fine, you may be seated, Mr. Lanzo. Are there uh, any preliminary matters uh, which uh, counsel would like to bring to the attention of the tribunal at this time? We intend to set a status conference on July 22nd at 10 a.m. And at that status conference, the trial chamber will discuss with counsel any motions that they uh, intend to file as well as set a date for the trial in this matter. However, are there any additional matters that, uh, that the lawyers would like to bring to the attention of the trial chamber at this time? That's from our side, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Mr. Uh, Bratskovich, is there anything that you'd like to bring to the attention of the court at this time? <laughs> I should uh, like to voice uh, some uh, basic objections regarding uh, the uh, introductory part where it says uh, that the Serbs and Croats attacked uh, Serbs in Konyets. It is common uh, knowledge both in the tribunal and the worldwide because it has also been established by United Nations resolutions that the aggressor against the state of Bosnia and Herzegovina were Serbia and uh, Montenegro together with the Yugoslav People's Army and uh, paramilitary uh, formations of Bosnian Serbs uh, so that it was not uh, an attack, it was self-defense as it was uh, the only uh, way here to save the city from uh, the fate of Priyadur Kozaras and other places uh, where uh, major crimes were committed uh, for which proceedings have been started with this tribunal. I also have uh, uh, one objection regarding counts 46 to 48 of uh, the uh, indictment uh, where my uh, client is charged with directly created conditions uh, which are defined as inhuman here. However, as my client was an ordinary guard and never had a superior position, he never had any possibility of changing those conditions uh, or creating such conditions. I uh, uh, therefore think uh, uh, that from the legal point of view, uh, this, uh, uh, these counts uh, could not apply to my client. Thank you. As uh, he's entered a plea of uh, not guilty to uh, counts 46 and 47, and that's probably a matter that you may wish to handle by way of a preliminary motion to dismiss. The um, transcript of the uh, of of your remarks, uh, Mr. Bratskovich uh, indicated uh, 
that, well, of course, now the transcript has moved away from me, but I remember what, it, what I read, and what I read was that you had stated that the Serbs, that you disagreed with uh, paragraph two because the Serbs did not, Serbs and Croats did not attack the Muslim, uh, the Serbs. Instead, uh, this was an act of self-defense, and then you went on about the, the, uh, the, the United Nations uh, information. I'm sure you meant to say what is alleged in the indictment, and that is that the Muslims and Bosnian Croats did not attack the Serbs. Is that what you meant to say, or did I, or perhaps do I misunderstand? Yes, that was what I wanted to say. It must be a misunderstanding that they did not attack them, that it was an act of self-defense to avoid the fate uh, of uh, Bosnian Muslims, especially in uh, Priado, Kozarac, and other places. This is a substitution of thesis. It was a new attack by Muslims and Croats against uh, Bosnian Serbs. It is uh, clear and common fact who were uh, uh, launched the aggression against Bosnia and Herzegovina. It was uh, Serbia, Montenegro, and the Yugoslav People's Army. Uh, supported by the forces of Bosnian Serbs. So that was uh, uh, the gist of what I said and what I hope I have just clarified. Thank you. Good. Are there additional matters to be brought to the attention of the Chamber at this time? If not, then uh, we will adjourn until July 22nd at 10 a.m. when we will have the status conference. We're adjourned. All rise. We are full of a. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>